Hi everyone. In my last video, I used the method of hydrodistillation on rosemary plants and ended up with a clearish hydrosol at the end. However, I ran this a few more times and noticed I was still leaving oils behind. In my more recent batches, I was able to get more of the oils I left behind, which resulted in more of a greenish olive oil looking mixture. Today, I'm going to further refine that oil by distilling most of the H2O from the hydrosol mixture and see if we can't end up with a scent profile that matches our rosemary. So, I will add all three vials into the boiling flask. Followed by setting up my still, we're using a thermometer to check the vapor temperature to see when all of the H2O is evaporated. I will then lower my boiling flask into the heating mantle to make sure everything has a good fit, and then turn on my water pump for my condenser. I use an ice bath of water to start out with, then we'll continue to add water to regulate the temperature. Followed by turning on my heating mantle. This is a good time to talk about how this process will work in short. We will heat up our hydrosol, which will turn into vapor. It will then condense back down into a liquid before being funneled into the beaker at the end. We are essentially evaporating out the H2O and only leaving oils behind. Once the water has been mostly removed, we can see our oil still boiling. I believe I possibly let this overheat, which gave it the darker color we see. However, its scent profile is very, very similar to rosemary. However, I can definitely smell the camphor oil more than anything. This will give me good starting information as I refine my runs. I hope you all enjoyed this video. In future videos, we'll be exploring other distillation processes in oil creation and the terping knowledge. Until then, have a great rest of your day.